grew up in a village, so we never really had refrigerated things. So when I came to the U.S. and found um, ice cream was great. When you're eating ice cream now, it kind of makes you think about not only does it bring back those memories, it makes you analyze where you're at now compared to how idealistic you were when you were a little kid. My name is Bui Ray Tut, and I provide access to clean water in developing countries. I run an organization, Aqua Africa, that drills water wells in South Sudan. Part of the issue when we were growing up in South Sudan is not just accessing water, it's transporting water. You're transporting water, you're collecting water, you're purifying water, your whole day is engaged in um, water. What we're doing is they're saving time, so women are being educated a lot more and they're able to engage in other activities. Aqua Africa, we like to say, is a, um, is a water drilling organization that uses water as foundation in order to um, administer development. So we, we focus on helping people have um, access in East Africa, helping people have access to clean water. And in addition to that, by clean water as um, a foundation, we try to administer development in terms of um, providing micro-democracy and resource management training. We actually founded Aqua Africa, um, my friend uh, Jacob Cole and I, in 2006. And in 2011, we drilled three wells. And from that point till right now, 2013, we've drilled over nine wells. We think water is the starting point to anything. Um, once you have access to water, you can build a civilization. That's where we wanted to get involved in. That's where we got excited about working. I think entrepreneurship is this overwhelming desire to do something and do it in a certain way that forces you to go on your own path. So with our organization, I wanted to be small, innovative, creative, and have the flexibility of working with the people directly. For the people of Omaha to step up and help us, and it was immense, it was amazing. We have over 30 volunteers that volunteer their time in order to keep the organization going. So Omaha is not only philanthropic in terms of um, monetary terms, because they give money, they also give their time because they truly care about what's going on around the world. And that has helped us become a small organization in Omaha, Nebraska with staff of three, impacting 4,500 South Sudanese 3,000 miles away. As an immigrant coming to this country at age of 11, not knowing the language, not knowing the people, not knowing the culture, well, the only reason that we've been able to do what we do is because of the support we've received.